this is the wrong sound. Not very pleasing. And this is what we're gonna get. This is the final sound. So, okay, so let's begin. So we're gonna start with the envelopes. First, we're gonna do a, kind of a 40% decay, a little bit of release, and about 60% sustain, and no attack. Let's cut a little bit of the lows, uh, the envelope about 40%. We need to do some resonance to boost some frequencies and we're gonna go to about 35% of the cutoff. So we are playing keys, so we need a little bit of the pitch follow. And it already sounds vintage. This synthesizer can do vintage sounds very, very easily. And it sounds smooth. So you need to make sure you are on poly mode because we are playing keys, of course. So we are gonna use two triangles for both oscillators. The first one is going to be on 8, and the second one on 16, and make sure you use Sing 1 on the cross mod. You're going to see in a second why. So, this DCO2 is synced to the number 1. So when we change the tune, and we adjust the source mix, it doesn't sound ugly. If I turn it off, it sounds like crap. So this means that if we move the tune knob of the DCO number 2, we are going to get a change in timbre. That is it, we get different sounds every time. So I'm gonna leave it right there. So a nice trick is having the envelope modulate the pitch for us. So if I turn on and then go up on the envelope, now the envelope is modulating the tune. You notice how different it sounds. And if we again change the tune, it's going to change the timbre. To make it sound even more vintagey, we can modulate the pitch of the DCO number one and add a little bit of pitch detuning. So a little bit of LFO, you need to adjust the rate and we are going to do a little bit of delay time so when we hit the keys it's not the LFO is not detuning right away it's just waiting a, a few milliseconds so of course it sounds very dark but you can adjust the cut of just to make it bright in the case of this vibe this track I need something you know a bit more smooth Now, on this one, I'm not going to use the chorus, I'm going to use the DAW. So let's talk about the effects we're going to use. So this synth can give you very good lows, but we don't need it for the sound. So I'm, I'm cutting everything below 300 Hz. Just to make it wider, I'm going to use the chorus. And I'm not using the built-in one, because I much prefer to do EQ and then chorus. So this is not a lead. So I'm using a tape delay just to push it back in the mix and I'm offsetting the left from the right. Just to add a little bit of movement, I'm gonna do a little bit of kick sidechain and we're gonna make some rooms for the kicks as well. Now let's see how this sounds on the mix. 